Hey guys, what's happening? So, doing some tuning on my um, Solari Toss printer here, and uh, one of the issues I noticed that, you know, when I started turning up the current uh, to get higher accelerations is that I really started to heat my drivers up. And only just a couple drivers. So, one of the nice things about the Trinamic TMC2204 driver is it has a built-in uh, temp sensor or thermistor. Um, so it's really nice for being able to dial in your air duct system to see if you're getting the correct cooling on the drivers. Um, so I could never do that. I could never tell that before with my 2209s, 5160s, um, just because you can't tell. There's no in internal thermistor. So um, I'm going to do a demonstration. I'm going to do a 35K test, 35, 600 millimeter um, calibration cube, and I'll show you which ones are heated up. And I'll show you my current duct and then my uh, new duct system so we can do before and after. Um, but also to show you how nice these new drivers are where you can actually, like this is the first time that I can sit there and see, I can change my duct work to get better cooling. Um, on most printers this isn't an issue, but because I'm driving this thing to extreme speeds and, you know, heavy, massive amounts of current, these things get hot. And, um, but I'll go back into Clipper and I'll uh, go in front of my computer and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so that's 35K, 600 millimeters per second. Um, so, I'm, like I said, I'm running these motors at 1.5 amp, but two of my uh, drivers are running hot. So let me go in front of my computer. I'm gonna fire up Clipper, and you, you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here is the Solaritas printer. So right now, I'm actually, uh, I guess I've only haven't been printing for a long time, but these are slowly starting to creep up. Um, and this is actually a on, on long, uh, like long parts where get up to full acceleration, these even get over 100 degrees. Okay, there it goes, over 100 degrees. So they're slowly creeping up. Let me show you the, um, what's it called? Uh, I'm running with um, X motor, 1.5 amp. All right, so, um, yeah, obviously I can't step it up. I mean, these motors, the 48 millimeter uh, DEMA 17s can handle about 2.1 amp. Um, but I'm not going to be able to, I mean, these things are basic overheating at 100 degrees C. Um, so I don't know if they're going to throttle. I'm not sure what they would do. Um, so I don't know exactly what would happen if you overheat them, if they're going to start losing steps or thermal throttle or do something like that. Um, but I know the max temp they actually say is 100 degrees C. Um, but as you can see, um, these, this, this, uh, so I basically, I've, I've, um, three uh, 2209s uh, for the extruder and the Z motors, and then I have four 2240s for the X and Y. It's a quad motor setup. But the the drivers that are closer to the blower fan are a lot cooler. And this is the furthest one away. So you can kind of see, and I'll, I'll show you a picture of the design, but you can see, um, where is it? That's the new design. Yep, didn't mean to do that. So that is okay. So here's the original design here. So I actually had a 4020 blower fan, and the 2240s are on this side of, of the board. So the X and Y motors are over here, um, towards the front. So what happens is, besides the fact that they're, they're farther away from the, the blower fan, it's actually picking up heat as it's hit, passing across the heat sinks. Um, so as it's coming through, it's picking up heat over the heat sinks. And so you have less airflow down at the very last driver. So um, this driver is that last one. Look at it now, 107, 106. So obviously I can't maintain that, or I can't even go up higher in amperage. So I know, I mean, obviously I'm getting really good cooling here. And there's, if you think about it, there's also three 29, 2209s in front of it. So if this didn't have that restriction or an also heat soak from the other heat sinks, this would probably run at probably around 65. So, I mean, just between one stepper and the next, you go from 74 to 89. So, um, all right, so let me, maybe just restriction, I'm not sure. I know the heat sinks on the 2209s are smaller than the 2240s. So the 2240s are more restrictive. 
So I have another design here, and um, so instead of actually using that blower fan, uh, this is it's an actual MKS Monster 8. If I didn't mention that, I'm gonna have three 40 millimeter fans. I mean, I, I prefer to have the blower fan um, because it's, it's a lot more quiet than having three 40 millimeter fans. So 40 10 millimeter fans, dual ball bearing, um, and then it's gonna because the thing here is. Um, 40 millimeters, so I have a ducting kind of like going into here to pass it through. Um, because in another video, I, I'm, I'm going to be actually uh, adding like, like large capacitors to these drivers, the 2240s. So um, I'm going to need the, I can't have the front, I need to have the front coming out this way. So airflow is going to be coming through here and coming out this direction. So you'll see that. So, all right, so I'm going to let that print keep on going and we'll come back to it and see. Um, yeah, 110. Yikes. So, I don't really know. I mean, could this be part of the reason why it's skip steps? I mean, I have a theory with the cap capacitor I made a video about, but I definitely need to get this under control if I'm going to be stepping the speed up on this thing. So, and I'm only running 36K uh, acceleration and 600 millimeters. So, once I go to like 90K and 70K and 60K, I mean, this is going to get ridiculous because I'm probably going to have to bring the current up. Here is so. the part and the fans. So make sure you get the dual ball bearing ones. The the sleeve bearing ones suck. They wear really fast. Um, a little bit more expensive, but I'll put a link down below where these are at. But um, yeah, never get the sleeve oil. The things, they just, they just don't last. They're cheaper, but they don't last. All right, so I'm going to remove the fan duct. So before I was actually controlling the uh, this blower fan during movement, so they weren't running 24-7. So I do actually have three extra fan input outputs, um, but they're not uh, pen controlled, so I can't control via like pulse width modulation. So I can't control like RPM and when it comes on and off. So they're just going to be run 24/7. Um, I mean, this is a speed printer, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So yeah, they're, they're going to run max 100% power. They're basically going to be running a uh, well. There's a jumper, so I can control if it's 5 volt, 12 volt, or like a voltage in, which is 24 volt. Alright, so here was the last try to describe in the video, the three 2209s. So the air was coming across here and picking up heat as it went through. But plus, these, these heats were, were so big, they were kind of restrictive. Um, so the max of this one was 115 degrees that I saw it. Um, and they went up from there. So, yeah, these are the X, this is the Y, these are the Z, and that's the extruder. Alright, there they are. So, what I was saying earlier is I had to switch these voltages. The same thing for the... Uh, the big tree tech octopus too is the same way. You have a, a voltage a jumper here. So right now it's set to voltage in, but I need to make it um, I have a bunch of 12 volt fans left over and that's what they are, 12 volt. So I'm gonna move this over and put it to the center. Right like like that. Alright, so it should be 12 volt. Yeah, like I said, I've been working on printer 3D printers long enough. Well they started out in 12 volts. So and then maybe like four or five years ago they started Putting in everything became start coming in 12, 24 volt. Right, so I want to make sure this works before I clean the wires up. So I'm, I mean, I'm, obviously it has to be noisier. Small fans spinning faster and noisier than big fans. Yeah, I mean, I, I prefer. I mean, I, what I can do is I, I can get a fan splitter and hook up to my thing here so they don't come on automatically. Like if I were to put, put like a fan splitter off this one that's controlled by a pin, like a CPU pin or a processor pin, I could uh, split that. But the issue sometimes is you don't want to overload that. You can only draw so much current from one of, the, one of these processor pins. Definitely more noisy, so at least I'm not going to forget the printer's on. Alright, so I'm going to heat it up again and I'm going to do another 35K 600mm boron cube. Then uh, we'll go back and we'll test the temps again. So I'm, I'm going to keep on modifying the duck until I get these things cool. So. Alright. I'm going to go back and turn the computer and see what happens. Alright, so here we go. Everything's looking a million times better here. 60 degrees. So I'm still at the beginning of the printing, 6%. So um, I'm going to come up, I'm going to come back closer towards the end and see if. Um, what kind of difference is, but 
that's a huge difference from 114 to 63. So this last one was 114. I wonder why this one is cooler than the rest. I mean, it could just be flow. I'm not sure. It's I don't know. Who knows? It could be like right a different part of the fan where it gets more airflow, or it could just be an out of non the thermistor is not calibrated. Who knows? Um. All right. Cool. I'll be back. Uh, I'll come back around 80 percent. All right. So the print is finished. I forgot to get the last part of it, but it really didn't change much. So the max I saw it was 66 degrees Celsius. Um. So really, on that first, this X right here, I mean, that's a 50 degree difference. So what, 65 versus like 114, 115, that's like, what, 50 degree difference. So that's huge. Um, so yeah, now I can start stepping the current up. But the other issue I'm having now, because once you start adding more current, it's not just the stepper driver, it's the motor, so it's getting a lot hotter too. So, um, all right, let me show you some what I'm working on. All right, so here is a heat sink I've been working on. Yeah, I'm gonna need definitely need a way to draw that heat out of those motors. So I mean, I could water cool it. I mean, I could machine these heat sinks right here. I mean, it would be kind of cool to add these because it would look like four crowns on the top of the motors. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to control heat because even at 1.5 amp, I mean, we're talking it's getting hot. At 2.1, it's probably gonna start deforming the plastic. So um, I guess I could also machine aluminum corners but I, I mean I'm trying to keep it this, to the point where if you guys want to print this printer out and, and screw around with it I mean you're not going to be I mean, uh, most people are not going to have machines like like a uh, mills like, you know uh, CNC mills and stuff so I'm trying to keep this in a form where most people can actually print it out and use it so yeah. all right so I think the fan duct was a success um, actually I'm pretty happy I got it one shot so uh, I'm sure I could modify in different ways to maybe even optimize it even more. But, um, all right. So I'm going to keep on chipping away at this until I get some ridiculous speeds. See what the limits are. And, all right. As always, having fun. Yeah.